Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Pug Network. And today I just I just thought of like I don't know, making this is Saturdays with Pug Network, but I don't really have one specific topic I want to talk about. Like I just I know this is gameplay. I know this is slightly different. You've been seeing it lately, but you know I just want to change things every once in a while. But with Saturdays with Pug Network, I normally just sit back and just talk about not like there's never really like there's never really like one major subject it's just a bunch of small things there's sometimes a big thing like oh a shout out competition something competition uh first the uh, fan art or whatever but i just i just want to talk about you know just a couple things that we have to do with the channel and i really like i miss i, I felt kind of sad when i wasn't that good about keeping up saturdays with pug network because this is the 12th installment like this we've been doing this for a while and shout kudos to you who remember Saturdays with Pug Network Part 3, because that's when I started again after like six months. And you guys have been along the ride, and thank you very much. But I just have a few things I just want to talk about. And I, I really kind of miss doing like chats like this, and I hope I get okay views. I mean, it doesn't really matter about the views, but I want to also make sure that you guys are happy with what I do, and the views kind of show me if you guys are happy or not. I mean, likes a lot too. Well, the first thing I want to talk about is some. I think I, I covered this on a video I uploaded yesterday, but just about the content and how it's changing, and how some people, well, you know, aren't that aren't that happy about the content changing. By that, I don't mean their comment. I mean some comments are like, "Oh my God, the content! You're a leafy pyro clone, whatever." Okay, so I make videos that I commentate on that makes me a leafy pyro clone. Okay, but basically, you know. I'm not going to stop what my channel was it does. I'm not going to like change my channel completely. I just want to I just those are like more relaxing for me. I feel more comfortable doing them. I get to sit back and talk about things I'm passionate about and I like doing that. It's not going to take over the channel. Don't worry. It will be fine. Don't forget to leave a like on this video cuz that's the only reason. That's the only really way I can tell if like my if my subscribers like it. So, don't forget to do that. I love inserting. I love it when people say leave a like on the video. <laughs> but you know, I I just want likes, okay? Okay, another point, which the title is probably gonna be like YouTube drama or some or YouTube comment drama or something kinda like annoyingly clickbaity, but basically I wanna talk about some comment drama that's been going on in this comment section below. By comment drama I mean like drama that's been going down in my comment section. Which, okay, if someone comments something pretty nasty, then, like, yeah, go ahead, kind of just, just destroy them in the comments. But also remember that everyone behind the screen, everyone, everyone's someone behind the screen. I mean, unless they're just, like, a spam bot that's, like, you bad, bro, lol. Then, yeah, okay, it doesn't really matter, but everyone is someone behind the screen. So just take that into account, but it's funny. I, I like it when you wreck people in the comments, it makes me feel good, and it's really fun to watch, so I'm never saying stop the wrecking in the comments, and it's actually, it's pretty fun to be honest. So, that's that with the comments. Um, I had a few videos, I want to talk about a few controversial videos I had. Whenever I do like a reacting to cringe things on Tumblr, okay, look, I, I don't, I like the artwork, it all looks, it's better than what I could do, believe me. I never criticize the artwork, I just find things cringy, and you know, I do it because people sometimes like to see it. And people have gone like, uh, I remember my first Hello Neighbor Tumblr cringe video or whatever it is. Like, whoa, that guy is possessed by Satan. Oh, oh hey there. Bing, 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 bing. Okay, <laughs> never mind, sorry about that. Basically, um, people kind of went, not crazy, but like, some people from Tumblr got really um, passionate on that video, and and basically said like, "Hey, I don't I don't really care. I found it entertaining." But other people from Tumblr got really mad when you made this video. And that kind of scared me when I was like, I was at like four hundred subs. So being a small YouTuber, I never saw anything from even close to this. So this was this was scary to me. And ever since that, I also got. A fair amount of dislikes on that video. I mean, the dislike ratio was like 16 to 4, so not bad, to be honest. I mean, a one-fourth dislike ratio. Uh, not the best. That shows that some people definitely don't like it, but I had a lot worse dislike ratios. Cough, cough, like 40 to 20. <laughs> 40 dislikes, I mean, to 20 likes. 
just sorry if I ever offend you in a video. I never mean to. Everything's supposed to be taken lightheartedly, okay? Except like these videos, these are never just like jokes. All these, these, these are basically the videos when I'm as true with you guys as I'll ever be. Like a lot of my videos, you have to realize, are just joke videos. I don't mean them seriously. And also, video, another video I want to address. I'm basically dealing with all the garbage that went down my channel in one video. <laughs> it's kind of funny how I get to do these. And I feel bad that I didn't address this in a video, but the whole John Tron video where I said, like, John Tron has hit a new low, okay? Look, he's a good YouTuber, he's a good person. I didn't agree with what he said, so I made a video about him, okay? That's all I mean. I have nothing against you about your political stances. You could be a Trump fan, you could be a Hillary fan, you could be like, I don't even care who you, I, I don't care, like honestly, we're all just people behind our opinions and the screen and the gameplay and the comments, we're all just people and you know, I respect that, I respect your opinion, I respect you having an opinion, without opinions we're, we're nothing, okay, so keep it up, and I know that got, I think 13 likes to 12 dislikes and the dislike and like ratio keeps going up, I'm barely ahead in the likes, it's, it's, it's kind of scary to be honest that people, it did much better than I expected. I expected to get like 70 views. It's at like 250, approaching 300 now. And the reason that that's kind of scary is because so many people found problems with it, and it wasn't a really good video, to be honest. I didn't put a lot of effort into it. I just kind of didn't even come up with a script. I just basically said, oh, um, John Tron did bad things. Oh no, boo hoo 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 hoo, like that. Like, and people, like, some of my fans are John Tron supporters, and they're not exactly, I mean, they could support his ideas, but they were more talking about, they like, they, he's like, they're like some of his favorite YouTubers, and you know, I feel bad if I offended some of you guys, because I didn't mean to, I swear, I just made a video, because, you know, it was a trending topic, okay, I do things to get more, as a small YouTuber, you find a trending topic, you put your opinion on it, hopefully you'll get some exposure, which I did. And I didn't turn out that well, so I'll be more careful before making a video. I should have done a little more research, and John Tron is honestly not a bad guy in any sense, or at all, not even close to being a bad guy. He actually seems like a really legit, cool dude. And I, he just made some opinions I didn't agree with, and I talked about him from there. I didn't even look him up or research, so sorry about that. Um, I mean, there's not a lot... Of uh, I can't really think of anything else that really went down in this channel. Besides my videos changing content and somehow in here's the thing. When I said like something about my last Saturdays with Pug Network about like Hello Neighbor and like how I'm gonna stop I'm some of you took it as I'm gonna stop doing that content, like forever, like this is over. Hello neighbor is officially done. I'm never doing another video on it ever again. Oh my god, just unsubscribe. No, okay. Look, Hello Neighbor Alpha 4, I made, I made a lot of videos about it, and they all did relatively well. The video views with Hello Neighbor started to go down when I just made video after video about my predictions, and sometimes they, they were pretty bad at some points, like about Hello Neighbor Alpha 4, when it was going to be released, and I obviously don't know when it's going to be released, just because I made all these predictions that, as we now know, turn out to be not true. So, not much, I, I mean, I... I said that just because I didn't want to milk the subject. I have a couple more that I came out with just because they released a picture on their Twitter page, but even then I feel like I'm milking it, and I don't want you to think the Hello Neighbor's gone. Second Alpha 4 comes out, I'm gonna, you're going to be spam with those videos, okay? You're going you're gonna to be like, why do you even produce Hello Neighbor content? I miss the old and not as much Hello Neighbor. It's like going to be like three videos a day, all of Hello Neighbor. I don't know it's going to be okay. But basically... It's it's coming back. Don't worry. It's not all over. But basically, all I wanted to talk about was these few things. And if you have anything else that you think I should address in the comment section below, or address in a video, like I'll probably do it in a Saturdays with Pug Network. I feel that it deems to be get its own entire video. Like I felt that the uh, my content changing needed its own entire video just because it I'm not saying controversial but I'm just saying a lot of people talked about it I felt like I need to talk about it and when I got into the when I'm when my content not just content but my upload schedule is going to be changing in like six months I was like I need to make a video about this but 
if you think there's anything else that should be added into a Saturdays with Pug Network that you want me to talk about. Oh yeah, I remember one thing I want to talk about. A lot of people in the comments are saying, can you give me a shout out? Something like that. I will, if I forget to, my bad. You will probably get a shout out in the description. But just, just don't spam me for shout outs because... The shoutouts don't really do anything after a while. If I'm just spamming them out in the description, this is the very bottom of the description, you get like 10 shoutouts, they become less and less like useful. And I, I feel like shoutouts should be like an entire video and you should actually get something from them. Now I'm just basically putting your name in the description. So feel free to ask a shout out, ask for a shout out, okay? But I don't really think, it, it's it's not going to be what you might think it might be, okay? Also asking to pin your comment. I will pin your comment, most likely. If someone else asks to pin their comment, I will pin theirs over yours, okay? I'm just going to keep pinning comments, okay? Don't spam me with pinned comments, because, like, if I already have a comment pinned that I wrote, probably I won't pin your comment, but if I have nothing, I probably will, so... Thank you all so much for surviving this. Oh, this is so long. If you are still watching now, comment banana man, my banana man in my in the comments, okay? And I will give you a shout out. Just kidding. I will pin the first I will pin the comment of the first person who comments banana man, my banana man in the comments, okay? So, thank you all so much for watching this super long video where I just ran about random things, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.